Hi, I'm Xander. Gabe. Baba. Quinn Brodsky. June He. Nick Garcia. Noah Pauls. Ryan Kim. Catherine. Jonathan. Tom Edelman. I'm Ryan Hennessy, and we are the MIT Logarithms. Oh, 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 oh. I am not a slave, can't be contained. So pick me from the dark and pull me from the grave. Cause I still feel alive. I think singing at MIT is a really great opportunity to kind of get your mind off of um, the work and craziness of being a college student. Um, and just relax and do something you really enjoy. It's a really good way to um, de-stress. Take a break from all my classes. De-stress, but still do something that's engaging uh, and fulfilling. Also, MIT is full of really like talented artists and musicians. So many different music opportunities, so many different acapella groups, um, orchestra, band, theater. So I feel like the artist community here uh, and especially the singing community is super, super strong and supportive. Hey, honey, you could be my drug. You could be my new prescription. Logs, for me, is just really unique because of how dedicated and devoted everyone is in the group. Um, not only is it really fun to be with everyone singing, hanging out, um, everyone is just really passionate about what they're doing. How seriously we take uh, singing, uh, how seriously we take acapella in general, um, musicality. We kind of encourage each other to do like whatever project we come up with, even if it's like a crazy idea that might not work. It just makes me really happy to be in the community and be singing with these people. I think we really pride ourselves on the physical aspects of our performance. We're a really charismatic group. We're full of energy and all of our performances are high impact and just get our audience very excited. One thing that I think is unique to Logs, which is really important to me, is our alumni community. Our history, first of all, really, really old group. We've been around for a little bit over 70 years at this point, and the alums are like very involved in like where the group is today and just serving as like mentors and just like really cool people to hang out with and learn from. We are family first. I've got 15. Uh, people in this group who would kill for me they care about me so much and really it's just not a transient thing it's like if you're in the group you're in it for life and uh, you're always welcome back it's a very very uh rewarding community experience Come up to meet you, tell you I'm sorry, you don't know. i'd done seven years of choral music performance um as far as music theory goes i didn't really know much i could just sing um, and I was classically trained, so, you know, I did nice tall vowels and good enunciation. I didn't have any singing background before joining the group. I like to sing just by myself in the shower. I was in a choir and uh, another choir and an acapella group. In high school choirs, some outside of high school choirs, I was in an acapella group. I didn't do like choir, I didn't do acapella or anything before I came to MIT. I played violin for a long time and played a bit of guitar. I played a bit of piano. Um, I also did some musicals in high school, just mostly just stuff for fun, mostly stuff that I did because I enjoyed it. I was in my high school's concert choir, uh, chamber choir. I was also in the school's show choir and we had a vocal jazz ensemble as well that I was part of. Um, I just really love singing. Um, it's been something that I've done since elementary school. I was in middle school choir as well. I never had a lot of formal musical training. Um, I was trained very briefly in opera and jazz singing. Um, so I'm not super good at reading music or anything. Um, and you certainly don't have to, to join the group. Um, I was in bands in high school. So like my, um, my musical experience is like very casual um, and stuff like that. And we have like a huge range of musical experience in the group. So while I had a lot of good experience coming in, the logs kind of doubled, like literally doubled uh, what I was able to sing just by um, digging into that more pop sound um, of, of the voice, like, you know, different vocal tones. And, and now I'm way more versatile in what I'm able to sing, um, something that I did not have coming into the group. There goes my baby. My favorite performance was an acapella jam at a high school in Worcester last semester. The energy of the crowd was amazing, which helped us really lock in and produce an awesome musical performance. Over spring tour last year, we performed at uh, an event for the MIT Club of Southern California. It's actually Valentine's Day, which we do annually. Um, 
every year's Valentine's Day is is a blast. Every Valentine's Day, we serenade people all around, all around the campus, and, and it's always so fun just to um, you know perform in that atmosphere because the students' reactions are great. Usually, people are like filming with their phones. I'd have to say it, it's got to be the concert. My first concert of my freshman year. My first concert. Our spring concert. Like, wow, all this hard work that we put in is paying off in the feedback, the cheers, and the claps that we're receiving from this gigantic audience. And then we bring in old alumni, and it's just a very high energy and fun time for everyone. There's no feeling like that. The nice thing about the group is that there are really so many ways to uh, contribute to the group. My favorite thing that I've done for the group is probably work as business manager where I get to kind of plan out gigs and find gigs and try to like kind of work for the group in order to make sure that we have a presence outside of campus. I was actually the director of the group, the musical director for a semester and I am quite proud of what I accomplished. Uh, helping organize our 70th reunion um, which happened uh, this past October. Uh, last year we made, our concert theme was SpongeLog SquarePants. So we made a movie of, uh, about SpongeBob SquarePants. Um, and we did a lip dub of several episodes and kind of stitched them together to make it logs themed. So two years ago, uh, I was a co-producer on an album that we put on. It's on Spotify, uh, iTunes, on YouTube. Uh, any streaming platform you can find. Some of the songs we worked on, I got to see their transition from like pure ideas to studio recording. And that whole process is a super, super like, enriching, almost magical one. You know, we build all the albums from, from the bottom up. Uh, like we have um, our own arrangements. All the singers are us. We have our own music studio. Where we and all our own equipment where we do all the recording really really cool to have you know my voice and have you know my work even if it's just a, a small amount of it put into something like that so i've been in charge of producing the next album or in our case um this semester upcoming our next ep um so right now we're at um, we're making a four song ep and uh, it's going to be released pretty soon um Look out for that on Spotify and other streaming services. Uh, me and some other people on the group have been working on the album art for our latest EP that is coming out at some point in time. I've been planning a virtual concert for the semester to liven up our quarantines, which has been pretty different from a normal concert, but a fun way to be creative. Check it out on May 22nd. Again, it's hard to think of one um, because there really are so many. I think we're really good at like maintaining contact with each other outside of rehearsals and performances and stuff. And one of the cute little ways that we do that is by um, is what we call sniping each other. So like when we're walking around the hallways and like you see someone down the hall that's in the group, you try to take a picture of them without them noticing. I would say like my favorite moments were all like after rehearsal when we'd um, we like a like a subset of us would go to Massey, which is one of the residential halls. Um, Massey to just like eat some food, joke around, mess around. Sometimes peace set, but usually just screwing around. So sometimes what my uh, my two class, the other the other logs in my year, uh, do is we go out to dinner together, and it's always it's always fun. We get to talk about stuff. I went with everyone in my grade um, in logs to Six Flags, and we spent the day. Uh, teaching what one of us um, what roller coasters were because he had never been on any roller coasters. We go on a, a tour. It was really nice to travel with with the group somewhere and spend quality time with people. Traveling between like between different locations for performances and just hanging out and talking in a car. We'd have just so much fun uh, in these long car rides when we're driving between places that you know an hour and a half, two hours in the car, and. <laughs> I got into this uh, mode of telling these really long, drawn out jokes. I think it's really special when our group gets together to celebrate people's birthdays. We had one of our group members' birthday. And we played one of his favorite board games, which was really fun. I'm, I live in the Minnesota Midwest. 
and um, a few of the other members live in the Midwest too. And I was able to um, see one of them uh, who's currently in the group. He, he drove up, he drove up to Minnesota. We hung out for a while. We went flying. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was a lot of fun. I've got fire for a heart. I'm not scared of the dark. You've never seen it look so easy. If you're interested in joining the logs, then all you need to do is come to the logs booth at the activities midway during orientation week, which is going to be before the start of the next fall semester. In the meantime, during CP Star, if you're interested in joining the group, then make sure to sign up for our summer mailing list, which you can do by participating in the CP Star activities midway, which is happening Sunday, April 19th. Or you can sign up for our summer mailing list through our website and follow the instructions from there. We hope to see you at auditions soon.